what I'm about to do in the next, I have no idea how long it's going to take me, hour, couple hours, uh, has nothing to do with my professional ability as a dog trainer. I just want to note that before we begin. Now, as you may know, Ken and I own a little toy poodle, and it is our first poodle that we've ever owned, which means she requires haircuts on a regular basis. And right now, she looks like she's Rastafarian, which I think sort of looks awesome, but uh, she looks uncared for. <laughs> And she is cared for, I swear. Uh, now, we can get her professionally groomed, of course. I have taken her to get that done uh, previously, but it's just expensive and inconvenient for me because it takes a couple hours to do. So I have attempted to groom her myself on several occasions. Um, I am not very good at it. I am not good at it at all. But she feels better. Her coat stays healthier. So I don't really care what she looks like. I think you need to take a look at what she looks like right now, though. <laughs> Yippee! We need to do something about this. So impressed. So I'm into the first few minutes and I uh, usually start with her face so you can see it looks a heck of a lot better than it did before. You can actually see her tiny little face in there. And just because it's hilarious, I poofed her hair up so that she has a fro. Um, I thought it would be adorable to cut her like a pony. So this hair all here, I'm gonna leave long and brush out and then I'm just gonna cut it really short on either side so it looks like she has a mane. And I'm sure poodle people are probably rolling over right now, going, you know, being completely horrified. But yeah, poodles, the beautiful thing about poodles is they have hair, it grows back. So that's sort of, you know, one saving grace. It's probably gonna look terrible at the end, but whatever. It grows back and then I can just try it again. So far she's being really, really, really good. The tail's still wagging, so uh, I think we're doing okay. Hey, miss? I have no idea if this is right or not, but I try not to stay at the same area too long because otherwise she gets a little bit frustrated. And I don't really know what I'm doing either, so I just sort of do little bits and pieces. She's definitely more comfortable with me buzzing certain areas, so I'll stick to that little bits at a time, stop. And then uh, I'll go to the harder areas. She does not like getting her legs done. Not that she doesn't like it, like she's gonna fight me or something, but she's like scared, like she's stressed and anxious. So I try to just do a little tiny bit at a time. Something that I figured out, and I have no idea if this is like a grooming thing or not, is if you hold one of their legs off and you keep them off balance, then they stay more still. So if I'm trying to do like this side of her belly, if I hold this leg up, she has to keep weight on the other one and then she stays a little bit more still. Now I have to clip her belly. And it's very difficult to do when you have a tiny little poodle squirming all around. So my system for this is for Ken to hold her up and me just to shave her belly. Well, the hippie does not like this, but <laughs> it's gonna have to happen. Uh, I don't like going to the dentist and I still have to go, so. <laughs> Well, hippies over here getting groomed, Slam and Beeline are rolling around on the ground playing with each other. It looks pretty funny. They're, I'm sure they're having a much better time than Hippie is. Ready for the big reveal? Oh, wow, Hippie. 
She is so not impressed. No. But what her favorite part of this whole process is coming. When I let her down, she typically has like a puppy burn and starts to grunt because although she hates the process, I think that she really likes to feel like no mats and like her furlough. But I left, uh, I left all of this so she looks like a little pony. Or Jimi Hendrix. Look. Look at that fro. It is the cutest thing. That is something. I can also dye it pink, but I feel like she's had enough for today. What are you doing? Well, did you know that brush brushes have more than one purpose? One is to obviously brush the dog. The second one is to round up all of the hair that you use. So I have this mat on here so she can't slip when she's up here. But look at all of this fur that came off of that wow. little tiny dog. <laughs> and this is the result. She looks like a little pony. She it's does. Quick. Now this is a pretty non-traditional grooming session. I know that uh, uh, rumors would be to like, say the least. yeah, would be Wait, shocked at that, this. Yes, good girl. But I think it's important I too. I think she looks cute. She does. I, I agree totally. I don't know whether this is, you know, a uh, professional look, no. but it's an adorable look. And that's really, you know, we're not doing any sort of confirmation or anything unusual with Kippy. No. So regardless, she's uh, as long as she's happy enough, something that Kale's notices is that if we uh, go a little too long without grooming her, that she gets like pulls in her belly. Yeah. Um, and I think that it bothers her a little bit because then I see her start to like chew it herself or sometimes if she's running, she doesn't like extend all the way because like she's got these like little pulls, these little knots underneath her armpits and stuff <laughs> where I know you're like all frisky now. She gets fine. Um, um, where her hair is a little bit more fine, so it's a... <laughs> and this, she's so happy. Oh, yeah. she, you hate the grooming, but yeah. you're so happy after it's done. She loves the post Because it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, you're nuts. You're crazy. All in all, it's a pretty great experience for Hippie. She's happy, and uh, although it's a bit of work, you know, she, she feels much better, as you can see. Now, don't everybody comment at once for my unbelievably good grooming advice. Right. Because I don't want to be like too bombarded with questions. Yes. Because I'm not sure I'll be able to answer them all. Right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, she's happy. So that's what's important. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you do something awesome with your dog. And beside us, here's a video that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch next. And on that, I'm Ken. I'm Kale. Happy training.